And yeah. Okay, so I'm cool. Um yeah, I am cool in the game. Okay, awesome sauce. Yay! So we are live, live, live. And it's funny, my mother always sneezes when I'm recording. <laughs> I'm about to tell her about herself. So, um, yeah, so we are live and uh, doing our thing with um, Reiki Changed My Life. So, yeah, I want to talk about that today. So before we plunge in, before we plunge in, uh, where is, I want to do a little sound. Is it all right if we do a little sound today? All right. So first and foremost, let me, let me, let me rewind this a little bit. Happy Earth Day. Yeah, as we give thanks to Mother Earth, yes, on this Earth Day. So we are going to do a little clang a on the bowl here so we can just get ourselves in the right vibration to talk. Because tonight, we're actually talking about sleep. Yeah, is that your favorite pastime? Because sometimes it can be mine. I'm like, I would love to. Um, so let's just go ahead. Let's do some breathing. Let's do a little sound and then, um, we'll pull a card and we'll get started. Okay. So get comfortable right where you are and just kind of check in with your body. Just do like a nice little scan, close your eyes and scan your body. See where in your body might need a little more love, a little more attention. Either way, it's all to the good. <sighs> and just focus on your breath. And allow yourself to just relax in your body and feel the vibration of your very being. Yeah. Feel the magic, the majesty, the beauty, the splendor of feeling the breath flow through your body. Feel every inhale, every exhale, and just give thanks for the ability to do that. For your body's ability to do it without you even thinking about doing it. Now we're going to do some intentional breathing. And every time we exhale, I'm going to hit the bowl. So I want you to take a deep inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. And just allow yourself to feel that vibration as you inhale and exhale. Feel the natural rhythm of your breath. Letting go of anything that may have happened today that may have pissed you off. Letting go of anything that you think that is so important that you gotta stress off of right now. Letting go of the things that you feel that you should have control of, but you don't. So we give it all to God. Giving thanks for breath, giving thanks for the right ear and the right now. (laughs) 
Amen. Ashe, and so it is. All right. So today, in honor of Earth Day, I'm going to pull a card from Earth Magic. Earth Magic. And Get out of, I don't know what's going on with Instagram lately with the lives, but um, it's really been tripping and it's really been frustrating me. And um, because it, it keeps going in and out. And um, I don't know what's going on, but it's, it's really frustrating. Nevertheless, the show must go on and it will. <laughs> Let me just make sure my Zoom is still doing what I needed to do. All right. So we're going to pull from Earth Magic. And I was like, hmm, if we're going to do Earth Day, why don't we pull from the deck that I rarely use? <laughs> but I have, on um, the time that I do use this deck, it is it's powerful, it's accurate. It's all that and then some. So peace and blessings to anyone watching me on Facebook. Unfortunately, when you're recording through Zoom um, and using a webcam, you can't see comments. And I really wish Facebook would fix that. Used to be a time where you would be able to see them. Um, and I'm pretty sure you still can. Uh, I just got to figure out where is it hidden under because Facebook be updating stuff and changing stuff and putting things in places and you're like wait what when did that happen so forgive me but i promise you when the broadcast is over i will be answering your comments i will respond to your comments i will not leave you nor forsake you <laughs> all right i'm just shuffling now what do we need to what do we need to focus on right now? Especially since we're on Earth Day. I'm going to take that as a jumper. <clears throat> and not my terrible shuffle, shuffling right now. But here on Earth Day, as we're going to talk about Reiki, sleep. That's one of the phenomenal things about Reiki. Is my sleep patterns have changed in a wonderful way. <laughs> Can't wait to tell you about this. All right, so. Ooh, Synergy, Green Man. Look how earthy and beautiful that is. You know, the, sometimes the light gives a glare, but I love all the green. And you see those hints of blue and like the red or the orange, reddish orange. And just all that, and you see, out, it looks like a face, doesn't it, right here? So beautiful. So beautiful. Green man. So what does green man want to tell us here on this Earth Day? <clears throat> so the green man is about synergy. So green man is earth vegetation personified. Mm. Although he has many vari variations, this card depicts a more subtle and embedded representation. Rather, In other portrayals, he resembles the face of a man covered in green foliage as branches and vines sprout from every direction. There exists some form of the green man throughout history. And in a myriad of cultures throughout the world, often a symbol for the rebirth of life in springtime, he's also associated with the Lord of the Wild Wood. <clears throat> Excuse me, as representation of the plant kingdom, Green Man reminds us of the incredible synergy required for Gaia to maintain her delicate and dynamic balance among the various beings on the planet. Synergy is the interaction and cooperation of two or more elements 
that produce a combined effect greater than the sum of their separate efforts. We witness this in the complex and cooperative interactive interaction between plants, humans, and animals. For instance, fruit, tree, fruit trees propagate by being eaten by an animal that then deposits it back into the earth after digestion. So, food. <laughs> As a new plant grows, bees pollinate the flowers, and the cycle begins once again as nature's simple yet remarkable synergy. So for us, what this is saying to me, and I hope it is saying to you as well, is when we take in, we are to give back to the earth. So if you take something from, you are to give back. And for us to be in synergy, in harmony, in, in step with one another, to have that cooperative spirit. You know, I know a lot of times we tend to have the spirit of being rambunctious and like I'm a loner or whatever. But in order for us to do what is right by our communities, to do what's right by our planet, to do what's right for the whole universe. It's going to take the cooperation of all living beings. And the being that is messing up the planet is the humans. <laughs> We're the ones messing up Mother Earth. We, just like any other mother, you take her for granted. You don't thank her enough. You don't visit enough. When's the last time you called your mother? <laughs> When's the last time that you've gone and spent time with your mother? Like, I love going outside, not particularly particularly so much now because pollen, oh, that's why I'm not wearing makeup tonight because I went outside to sweep my patio. Oh my God, all that pollen. And, but it needed to be done. And I, I really just did not want to do it. And now my nose is like super irritated because I've been blowing it nonstop, driving me absolutely crazy. But I give thanks for the pollen because the pollen is necessary. So going back to what I was saying of what I like to do and how I like to connect with Mother Earth, I like to go outside and just spend time in nature. And when I'm able to, I like to go outside. I want to take my shoes off and put my bare feet into the soil. So the grass can get between my toes and I can feel the soil underneath my feet and just really just take in some deep breaths and connect with the earth in such a beautiful way. It's a fabulous way to get grounded. If you're having trouble feeling grounded, that is a perfect way to go and get yourself grounded. Go outside if you are. Now, if you're in a place where they're getting all that snow, might not want to do that. You might not want to do that. You might want to just sit at the window and talk to Mother Earth and not go out into the cold. But if you're somewhere where you're able to do that or just when the weather gets better, that is a good way to reconnect with Mother Earth. So let me see the card that fell out when I was shoveling pitifully. <laughs> Hi, Gail. Oh my gosh, I feel so happy. It feels so special that Gail is here. I'm so happy to see you. So the card that jumped out is Volcano. Oh, that made it go dark. Volcano. <laughs> and it says volatility. I was going to totally butcher that word. <laughs> Because I've never pulled this one before, Volcano. And I love the eruption, the explosiveness about it. And let me see what this has to say. Okay. So volatility of the volcano. Pele is the goddess who lives on the big island of Hawaii. 
dwelling there in the crater of the active volcano. Uh, I can't pronounce this. Kil Kiloa. She's considered passionate, volatile, capricious. Why are they giving me these words? I can't say. <laughs> and is perhaps best known of the panoply of Hawaiian deities. Wow, y'all, I'm sorry. Since 1983, she has been sending ribbons of lava down the mountainside and into the sea, thereby creating new land. In this image, we see her subtle visage in the spewing fire of the volcano. In ancient Hawaiian chants, Pele is described as she who shapes the sacred land. And it's from this magnificent, powerful goddess scene and her periodic eruptions that new earth is formed. As a resulting lava merges with her sister, the goddess of the sea, Namakahokai. Yeah, okay, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> the volatile and unpredictable nature of the volcanic eruptions is widely known in spite of science's efforts at forecasting these blow-ups. They sometimes happen without warning. Whether the interruptions are slow and steady or violent and explosive, it's an unstoppable force in one very dramatic way nature changes and shapes the land. So the beauty of a volcano. Now I'm I'm this person, I like watching like nature channels. And I love looking at when they show the hot lava. It's really pretty to me. It's dangerous as hell, <laughs> but it's very pretty to look at it. To me it is. Because I like looking at fire. I think fire is beautiful. Um, and that's probably because I'm a fire sign. <laughs> so I like fire. Big surprise. Um, but it's very beautiful. And it's very powerful. And from the ashes, new life can emerge. So the fire, the lava clears out that old so that new can be formed. So I think that's a very beautiful thing um, with these cards. Um, so those are the cards that we have for tonight. So let's jump into our um, lesson tonight. And as you know, one of my pastors used to always say, I promise I won't be before you long. Then he keep you there all day. <laughs> like, Lord. Okay. So tonight I'm talking about how Reiki helps me sleep. So let's recap this thing. So on day one, we talked about what is Reiki and how did I get introduced to it. Day two, we talked about the misconceptions and myths of Reiki. So in other words, what Reiki is not. Um, we talked on day three, how it eases my anxiety and helped me with my anxiety and panic attacks. So tonight on day four, I'm going to tell you how I make me sleep. So, when I was talking yesterday about how it eases my anxiety <clears throat> and how it's a great stress reliever, because one of the things that I said about how Reiki can help you with your anxiety is how it forces you to be still. It does. It forces you to be still. And it also gives you an opportunity in that moment as you're receiving Reiki and even as you're giving Reiki to kind of quiet your mind. So you're not focused so much on, okay, so what do I need to do today? What's going to happen? You know, what do I need to make sure? Did I turn that off? Did I, did I restart my computer at work? Did I remember to tell her that the meeting has been changed to 2 o'clock so she won't show up at 1 o'clock? Did I, did I pick up the driveway? 
okay, so what am I going to have for dinner? Ooh, I had spaghetti last night. I don't want that again. You know what I'm saying? How we have all this stuff that we're thinking about constantly. So Reiki gets you to calm your mind. It gets you to kind of like come down a little bit. So all the, the chaos that's going on in your brain, in your mind, it's a moment of And so while in that moment, while the great light is going through your body, going through every chakra cell, every joint, every muscle, right? And bringing in that new, beautiful energy. One of the things after you receive Reiki, a lot of times you feel very, um, like you've just done a detox. So it's like an energetic detox. And if you've ever been like on a fast. Now, I remember when I used to fast with my with the church that I was attending. I can actually say for those 21 days that we would fast, that would be sometimes some of the best sleep. Because my body was detoxing the whole time, you know? So it wasn't so focused on food. Um, or or trying to digest some humongous meal that I just ate, you know. Um, so it's like your body is cleaning out. So one of the, the things you're going to feel very drained, um, not drained in a bad way, but drained as a clearing where there's clarity. So with that feeling, it gives you the opportunity to say, Okay, so now I want to go to sleep. <laughs> so, like, even if you get Reiki in the morning. So, let's say you made an appointment. It's Saturday morning, 10 o'clock, and you've got a Reiki appointment. And you're getting your Reiki attunement. By 11 o'clock, you're done. Um, and you're, if you're in person with that person, then you're on your way home. If you're doing it distance and you're at, you're at your home, then, you know, you're logging off Zoom or whatever, and you're going on with your day. But your Reiki practitioner will tell you, take it easy. Don't sit and try to do a whole lot of stuff because you are going to have that detox feeling. Um, you may start to feel a little heavy. And what that is, is the energy shifting through your body. Um, I know sometimes I've had people tell me I felt really heavy, but then when I went to bed that night, it all went away. And that's just kind of like the energy is settling in your body. So you know how when you're in like an old house and it's like all day long, you're doing stuff and you're not paying attention. My hair is looking like that. <laughs> you're not paying attention to any of the things that's going on in that house, but when you go to bed and everything's quiet, that's when you start hearing creaking and cracking and everything else, and the old folks will say, well, that's just the house settling. Kind of like that, where you've had all this going on all day long, and now your body is like, okay, let's settle down, because we got to take some inventory. We got to see what's going on now and see how we're feeling, and check in. Hello, goddess, how are you? Um, so that's some of the things that you might experience after you've had a Reiki attunement. So that aids in you getting your sleep. So if you start to feel a little heavy after you've had a Reiki attunement, don't panic. It's not <laughs> that nothing was done wrong. It just means that now your body is trying to make shift with the new energy that's coming through to push all the old energy out and you'll start feeling detox. So it focuses you, it gets you to be still. It gets you to focus. So then the other part with that, it's really calming 
Because remember when I said yesterday how it relieves your stress and anxiety and that tension that's in your body because we tend to hold a lot of tension in our bodies when we're stressed, when we're tense. Um, like for us as women, we hold a lot of tension in our hips, a lot. And when I give a woman Reiki, best believe them hips be like, wah, 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 with all that tension. <laughs> so we got to go through and ease that tension right on out of there so we can be able to feel um, lighter in that area. And then sometimes the tension is in your shoulders. Like I get like really tense, like right in here and right in like around my neck and stuff so when I'm giving myself Reiki I make sure that I go in these areas go around and I get my arms and my legs and I get my hands because I have like soreness in my hands especially from a, a car accident I had years ago um, they never fully recovered so I have a lot of tension in my hands and I do a lot of mobility exercises already. But when I give myself Reiki, I make sure that I spend time on my hands to kind of relieve the tension. Because sometimes if I'm stressed, these are the first things that hurt <laughs> my hands. So um, it's a great way to relieve that stress. So when you're relieving that stress, you just want to... Um, make sure that you know that with that release, with that relief and that release means that now your body is in a better position to sleep. When we get rid of stress and tension in our bodies, that relaxes our bodies. So thus, yeah, you will be able to go to sleep. So some of the other things that I also recommend to my clients, when you're sleeping or when you're going to bed, Make sure, even after you've had a Reiki attunement, sit at the edge of your bed, put your feet flat on the floor, and take some deep breaths. Do like five. Five deep, intentional breaths. And what will happen is you're bringing your heart rate down. You're getting your mind back to that relaxed state that you were once in when you were having the Reiki attunement. And you're just kind of making your energy just kind of streamlined. That's the word I'm looking for. And it relaxes you. And then make sure you also have a cup of water by your bed so you can drink and keep yourself hydrated because that's another thing. After Reiki, you want to make sure you stay hydrated. But you'll, you'll go to sleep and your body will come down even more. And all of that tension, all of that stress, and all of that heaviness that you may have been feeling will start to slowly ease away as the night progresses. Now, so you take deep breaths, you make sure that you're hydrated, and the next thing, get everything out of bed that ain't supposed to be there. <laughs> I'm talking about electronic devices. Get your phone out of your bed. Get the remote to your television out of your bed. All of that energy pulsating from those devices is going into your mattress, going into your pillow, going into your blanket, going into your body. If a lot of times people are coming to me and saying, I can't sleep, I have insomnia. And a lot of times it's not insomnia. There's too much energy around you. Get that phone out of your bed. Put it on your nightstand next to your bed. Get that remote out of your bed. Put it on the nightstand by your bed. Get all that frequency from those devices away from you. And when you do that, you'll find that you'll get better sleep. So Reiki does help you sleep. Because going back to what I was talking about yesterday of, of relieving anxiety, and stress, and tension, because those are the main things that keep us up. It relaxes you. It relaxes the mind. 
it makes you focus more on your breathing. So if you're breathing while you're receiving Reiki, calms your heart down. That helps you sleep as well. Forces you to be in the moment so you're not stressing about stuff. So this is all relevant, relevant and relative to what we talked about yesterday. So those are the things that happens when you receive Reiki and sometimes even when you give it, it helps you sleep. I find, and this is me just being truthful, when I give someone an attunement, I sleep. I sleep. It, it helps me sleep. It really, really does. It calms me down. That's why I said, I believe I said this on day one, that I will always say that me as a healer, as I heal or am, I am allowing myself to be the vessel, to be used as the vessel for healing for someone, I'm also being healed. I'm also being helped. That's one of these, those beautiful things. It's reciprocal. It's totally reciprocal because if I'm giving you Reiki, I'm, I'm concentrating on you. And now Jeffrey Osborne is in my head. <laughs> Concentrating on you. That's what I'm doing. I'm not thinking about what I got to do later on or who pissed me off earlier. And I promise I'm not going to be doing Reiki if I'm pissed off. I will reschedule it because I don't want to bring that energy to the session. But I'm just saying this as an example. I'm not thinking about who might have pissed me off like yesterday. Um, I'm not trying to think about like what am I going to cook for dinner and all that kind of stuff because I'm hyper focused on you, the attunee, my client. So it's a twofer. So you get to be calm and I get to be calm. You get to have good sleep. I get to have good sleep. Win win. So that is one of the beautiful things of how Reiki has changed my life. Just re, just really tapping into and understanding that this beautiful gift, this beautiful way to help people to heal, to share, also helps me. And it's like, I, I'm my own client on that. You know what I'm saying? So I love being able to do these things for myself. My family loves when I give them Reiki. You know, um, I remember the first time um, I gave an attunement, it was to my mother. And when I was talking to her, I was explaining to her what I'm doing. I told her what this was and that I would need her to be my guinea pig. And she said, yes. So our, this, I hadn't developed the technique yet. I was just kind of like peeing in the wind. I just didn't know. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna just do this and we'll see how it goes. And when she was, when, when I finished, and um, she sat up and I told her, I was like, get your bearings and make sure you're okay before you start, you know, talking or whatever, because I do want to get some feedback. Um, so I gave her a cup of water. I let her just sit there for a minute and just kind of like come back to herself. Um, because again, it's a deep meditative state that you get put in. So when I sat down and I started just, I told her, I was like, so what do you think? I mean, you know, did you feel anything? You know, be honest. Just let me know. And she was like, I'm just going, okay. She said, that was great. She said, I don't know what you did. She said, but that was great. Because I really was just relaxed. She was like, it was calming. She said, I felt good. She said, my heart wasn't like doing this. Because she has like high blood pressure and, and some other health factors. So when I give her Reiki, it helps her um, get her blood pressure down because she's like really, really relaxed. Um, 
So yeah, she was tell, talking about how relaxed she was, how her body felt really relaxed. She wasn't feeling a lot of tension in her joints like she usually does. And like I said, I was just spitballing because I had just started. She was my very first person that I did that for. So I was like, okay. <laughs> and so when she's giving me this feedback, because I already knew from doing self-healing how I felt, but you know, I want to try and see if anybody else can feel it, you know, too. And um, then I told her, I was like, well, when you go to bed tonight, let me know how you sleep. So when the next day she gets up and she was like, I slept so good. She said, and if I didn't have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, <laughs> she said, I would have slept all night long. She said, I slept so good. She's like, I don't think I've gotten good sleep like that in a long time. So it made me so happy to know that I helped my mommy and that she felt good. Um, and she's been my client ever since. And she gets the family discount. <laughs> she birthed me, so you know, she gets the family rate. But um she loves it. She loves getting her, her Reiki attunement. And you know, she'll she'll come tell me, she'll be like, you know what? I I think I need one. I, I think I need that because uh yeah, I'm not feeling so good. So and here's another thing that Reiki helps with. It also helps her because she has really bad like sinus issues. It relieves the tension, the you know, the tightness that sometimes your sinuses can give you where you have those sinus headaches. I get them sometimes. But it's like one day I was giving it to her, giving her a Reiki, and I was going through and I was getting her to breathe and I noticed her breathing was getting better so when we were done she actually told me she was like you know I don't know if you spent a whole lot of time like around my face or whatever she said but all of a sudden she said it was like a like a it just like a valve release she said and I just like wow that tension that sinus tension just kind of like went away and um so I was like wow this stuff is like the bomb <laughs> so again I I and I don't know why I never really shared a lot of this stuff with you guys but that's gonna change I'm gonna talk about it more I want to do more videos of it I want to do a video showing me giving someone Reiki um, but if you sign up for the course, you will get all that. You'll get live demonstrations from me. Um, so with the certification course, you will get certified in Reiki levels one, two, and master Reiki. So you will walk away a make a Reiki Yusui Reiki master healer. You'll have a certification. You can hang on your wall or put on your phone, it's going to have your name, it's going to have your lineage on there, because my name is on there as your, as your teacher, as your sensei, so yeah, <laughs> but it's a six-week course, and you'll learn the techniques, you'll learn the, the principles, the symbols, you'll learn about what you need to get your Reiki practice started, you know, um, We'll talk about different things, um, like things that I've learned along the way um, as a practitioner, some do's and don'ts, you know. Um, we'll also talk about other things that you can do to incorporate in a Reiki healing session, because I don't, I give Reiki, that's the main thing, but there are other things that I've added to, because now that I have a rhythm, I have my practice. I understand now, you know, how this can be used and, and everything, because you'll eventually find yours. I have my own technique of how I give a Reiki healing session, and it works. And so I just work on perfecting it um, every time. Um, but we'll talk about stuff like that. 
And one thing that I was saying, um, the course is six weeks. And I, I did it that way because I want to give you time to actually practice. Because you're going to get, you know, the ability to um, practice. Um, probably going to assign accountability partners. They're going to probably, I will. Um, so that way, someone, you'll have a partner um, to help you in the, the uh, lessons. We're going to build a community with this, you know, um, because that's one of the things about when I got my certification that I, I kind of wish that I had a little more of because it was a do-it-yourself course. So it wasn't live. Um, my instructor was fabulous. I love her. I love all the stuff that she does. I've taken multiple things from her and got certifications in all of them. Um, but the part that I, I, I wish I could have would be where it would have been live at some point where I could know some of the people who were taking the course with me and have a community in that way that I can get to know people who are on this journey with me and to be able to talk to my instructor um, and for her to know me and I know her and, and everything else. So I wanted to do things a little differently than what some of the courses that I'm seeing now that are online. I still want to add that personal touch because, you know, I feel it's important to have that personal touch, to be able to say, hey, my instructor cares about me. Not saying those instructors don't because they do, but I want you to understand that I do care. Understand that it is it's very important to me that you feel comfortable and that you're able to do the techniques, do the, do the symbols, so on and so forth. And at the end of the six weeks, We'll do some follow up. So we'll have two master classes that are a part of your package. So you'll get two live master classes with me to kind of do like some post certification training. So um, I'm very excited about this program. And if you go to my link in the bio, in my bio, it's the very first thing on the link tree. You can't miss it. And if you use the coupon code Reiki Life, you'll save $111 off of the price. And that coupon is only good until the 29th. So that means when the, the clock strikes 12, midnight, when it's officially the 29th, that coupon is no more. So don't procrastinate and drag your feet. Sign up now. All right. Okay. Well, that's all I have for today. And I don't know if you saw my previous post, but I've knocked it down from 10 days to eight days for our celebration because something has come up and I won't be available um, on Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so yeah, <laughs> this will end on Monday. So it's going to be eight days instead of 10. Nevertheless, I'm still going to bring you all the magic because that's what I do. That's how I, that's how I roll. It's okay. Forget about it. I got you. So, all right, my loves. Well, thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, thank you for coming. Bye for now. Bye, Instagram. And bye, Facebook.